Number 5. Lance. Even though he only met Lance as the final Lead 4 member in Kanto, there was something about him that made him a huge fan favorite. There are a lot of great battles with Lance, but the one battle that stuck out to me was your battle right before the champion in Pokemon Red and Blue. Lance was somewhat overshadowed by the fact that he was no longer the person you had to beat to become the champion, but that didn't stop him from shining through and leaving his mark. What's so special about this battle is that it stuck out in your mind. It was tough because of his well-trained Pokemon, but they were all Pokemon you loved to see. They all had this sense of strength and had amazing designs. Gyarados and Aerodactyl looked powerful. The Dragonairs looked very sleek. And Dragonite, a Pokemon that made the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. I remember the first time I laid eyes on Dragonite. He looked so menacing yet cute. He was this amazing balance of strong and lovable, and you just wanted one right after the battle. It was fun to go against all these Pokemon, as well as the iconic Dragon Tamer who trained them. Your interaction was very short, and it was the first time you ever met Lance, but you remembered him. Whether it was his personality, his team, or even his hair and cape, Lance stuck out in your mind as a great trainer you wanted to see back. This battle represented how you could feel someone's personality through a Pokemon battle. You didn't talk very much with Lance, but you began to understand his leadership and confidence through battling. It was such a great battle that he returned in the second game, bumping into you on your journey, battling alongside you, and even becoming the champion. Coming in at number 4, we have Wally from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Once you've gotten through Victory Road, you come to a beautiful clearing. There's great green grass, wonderful flowing water, and flowers everywhere. The atmosphere is beautiful, and is the perfect place to set up your final battle with Wally. Wally and you have a very different relationship than your other rivals. He was your pupil. Early on, you helped him catch a Pokemon, and even battled with him several times throughout your journey to help push him in the right direction. During your travels, you find out that this gave him the motivation to better his life, and make him really want to pursue being a trainer. The game alludes towards Wally being very sick and not really wanting to do much to improve, but after catching his first Pokemon and becoming a trainer, he starts to grow stronger and become healthier. In the manga, Wally actually wears an entire respirator suit due to health problems. This is why this battle means so much, because you get to see the friend you've taught and promised the battle become stronger and filled with life. It's great to see someone be so cheerful and have fun, but to also see a friend that you've helped grow into a happier person is an amazing feeling. You've given Wally hope, and it really shows in this battle. He has a plethora of strong Pokemon and is the person who debuts Mega Gallade, all to an amazing soundtrack. Wally has gone from a frail young kid to a stronger and more passionate trainer. You're able to be a role model and help Wally find out what he wants to do, and what's better than introducing one of your friends to the joys of Pokemon. Number 3 You may remember this guy from the wanted posters hung around your neighborhood for breaking into the professor's lab. That's right, it's Silver! If there's something about any type of competition that has stuck with me, whether it be in sports or in video games, it's that when two people go against one another, you learn a lot about each other. And that's what happened with Silver. Throughout your journey, he's seen as a rugged punk who was even abusive to his Pokemon. But with every battle, you get to learn something new about him. You soon figure out that all his aggression and anger stems from his want to be the best and prove himself as worth something. This clouds his judgment and makes him coarse and unable to see anything besides winning. However, the more you battle him, the more he also learns, and that's what makes your final battle with Silver so amazing. All the time you put into battling against one another has brought you to this moment, right before you're about to challenge the Elite Four for the second time. You see that his Pokemon have become stronger, especially his Golbat that has now evolved into a Crobat. I love how they use this evolution. You see that his Golbat has finally evolved by friendship, and you truly know that Silver has learned how to treat his Pokemon. After the battle, Silver is nice to you and even reminds you to heal up your Pokemon so they don't get hurt, yet he still has the determination to be the best. That is what makes this one of the best battles to me. Not only has he learned from all the previous battles, but that he still has the determination even after all those losses. You finally see Silver grow into an amazing trainer, and this final battle is what proves that. Number 2 this is possibly one of the most debated battles in the game, but let me try and explain why the battle with Red was so special to me. While this may not have been the most challenging battle, it was great just simply for what the battle represents, and how well thought out it was. Red's a character you don't know much about. You don't get to talk to him during your travels like you would getting to know your rivals or other trainers. But you get to learn what he's been through in this battle. 
Red disappeared long ago after becoming the champion, and no one has heard from him since. You climb to the top of the treacherous Mount Silver, and there you see him, Red, at the lowest point in his life. You get to see the person you once were, now hiding atop this cold mountain, away from other people. Red wanted to be the Pokemon champion, and once he accomplished that, he didn't know what to do with himself. This was a person who reached his goal, but wasn't sure where to go after that. After he defeated Blue, he kept trying to be stronger and stronger to find some meaning. Pokemon battling was all Red knew. But one day, the right person came along and challenged him. That was you. You got to see a super level Pokemon, once higher level than any other trainer in the main story, once I came along with you during your first journey. And you helped him to remember his love for battling, and why he did this. A lot of people, once they reach the peak of where they want to be, end up being lost without the journey and not knowing what to do. That was Red. He just wasn't sure what to do after being the best, but you came along and helped to remind him. It was a great surprise to see Red randomly at the top of this mountain. It was a beautiful way to end the story. It was even amazing to see Red appear at the Pokemon World Tournament and return to the world again. The battle at Mount Silver brought him back to life and showed him what it meant to be a true trainer. It helped to give him a reason to come back and continue his life. This is what this battle meant to me, and I really liked it because you were able to make your own tale as to why he was here and compare Red's journey to your own. The symbolism of the mountain, the cold, harsh atmosphere, the surprise from a character you did not expect to see, the fact that Red does not even say a word, letting you fill in the blanks to his story. All of these aspects brought about so many feelings to me as a kid, making this battle stick out in my mind. Number 1 Blue is one of the most iconic rivals in the series, from his snide remarks that make you want to throw him in a lake, to his all-out brawl and roster of Pokemon. The battle itself was great to play out. It is home to one of the best songs in the game and shows off Blue's incredible team reaching its full potential. He had a good amount of my favorite Pokemon. But that's not the only thing that made this battle so great. This battle had depth. It meant so much more than any regular battle. Blue's personality made every battle one you did not want to lose. He was mean and never gave you any positive encouragement, but he pushed and challenged you to become stronger. He was a rival you could easily compare to someone in your life. Maybe a mean friend, a bully, or even a stern parent. But you kept going. You got through all the gyms, made it to the end of Victory Road, defeated the Elite Four, and just when you thought it was over, you were faced with one final challenge, Blue. If you know the origin of Red and Blue's rivalry, it makes this battle that much more important. Blue was your best friend, but one day changed and began to bully you. He got into Pokemon because he no longer wanted to play with you. This battle was about proving yourself to someone once close to you. Everyone else saw you as a strong trainer, besides the one person standing in your way. A person who you just wanted back in your life. This battle meant a lot to me as a kid. I understood what Red was going through. Here he was, a young, only child who knows very little of the world around him, with a best friend that left him for seemingly no reason. Sure, Red and Blue were the same age, and Blue felt the need to be better than you as he got older, but as a kid, you didn't know that. You don't know why your only friend moves on from you, leaving you alone. Your battle with Blue was about trying to reach the closest person to you, and maybe if you showed him your strength and became the champion, you could get back the friend you lost. This brings an end to one of the best rivalries in the series. If only Red could have reached his friend, maybe then he wouldn't have run away. <laughs>